Hey everyone, here's a little better video about my LED lights that I've put in my live well. Now, this is especially easy if you've already done a light installation like I've done on the rest of my boat and you have parts left over, namely a little bit of wiring and a couple short pieces of green or red or blue LED light strip that you think would go along good in your live wells. I'm using green. Uh, for me, it just seems that that's going to be the best color. Um, let me show you real quick how I did this. I'm not going to actually show you in the live well because I don't think the audio or video would be very well. But what I've done is I've mocked up this little piece. As you can see, I've got it sitting in a glass of water and it's just mocked up on a piece of an old milk carton. And it's been in the water for a little over a week. And as you can tell, it still works just fine. So let me show you how I've done this. I'm going to take this and shake the water off of it here. Now, as you can see here, what I've got is a small piece of 50-50 uh, LED light strip. And I've got the uh, basically the entire thing encased in uh, some sealant. And that sealant is right here. It's just a 3M product, uh, marine adhesive sealant. There's a couple different versions of this. Um, the 5200, I believe, takes about four or five days to cure completely. Um, at this point, I'm not going to be not going to be using the boat for a while anyway. But uh, they also make a another product that cures in 24 hours, I believe. But basically, what I've done is. You want to use acetone to wipe down the area inside your live well where you're going to put the light. And the reason you want to do that is the, uh, the sealant really needs a clean surface to seal up to. And if you use rubbing alcohol, that could prevent this product from uh, sealing correctly. No matter what product you use, make sure you read the directions so that you don't contaminate it with another product while you think you're doing something to clean it. You don't want to mess up your, your whole installation. So what I've done here basically is wipe it down. Um, after you get the wiring soldered to your light strip and get the heat shrink tubing on there, like I've described in other videos, you'll just want to go ahead and stick it to the inside of the live well, live well where you want it. And uh, make sure that you wipe down the outside of the light strip and the... Um, heat shrink tubing and the wiring there, wherever you're going to have sealant, make sure you wipe it down just uh, very gently with acetone as well. Um, you just want to make sure it's going to be a real clean um, contact with your sealant so that you don't have any problems with uh, water getting inside of there. But uh, if, if you mask off the area like I've done here where you want your sealant, uh, you can get something that looks fairly clean. Um, Another trick is to mask off the very front edge of your LED light strip so that you don't get any sealant over the top of the lights. Um, once you do that, all you have to do is drill a small hole uh, somewhere above there. I've done mine above the water line so that I don't have to worry about it leaking so much. I also still put a little dab of sealant uh, there in the hole as I pull the wiring through so that that'll seal up too. Um, the other thing to think about, though, is if you have a hairline crack in your live well, you may want to avoid, at all cost using a big hole saw to put a hole in there. Like, you know, if you want to install some of the other lights that are out there on the market, uh, the reason is, is if that hole saw gets jammed up in there as you're going through, it can cause a lot of damage and it probably cost a lot of money to fix that. But with this neat little trick here, uh, you can do this for very, very minimal amount of money and very minimal uh, modification to your boat as well. So um, remember, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, tight lines and happy boating.